The clamp function takes three inputs, a value, a range defined by two values, min and max. If the first input falls within the range, the function returns the same value. If it's lower than the minimum, the function returns the min value of the range. Conversely, if it's greater than the maximum limit, it returns the max value of the range. The mix function performs a linear interpolation, also known as lerp, between two values. With that explanation, I'm going to use these two functions to create a smooth transition effect between two textures on a mesh. The variable mix ratio here represents the alpha value used in the mix function. First, let's observe what a basic call of the mix function on two textures does. As you can see, when the alpha is 0, we see only the first texture. When it's 1, we see only the second texture. Values in between create a blend of the two textures. Now, I'm going to use another texture to shape the transition effect. To do that, I'll employ a little bit of math, including the clamp function we discussed earlier. And there we go. By the way, this technique works with various transition textures. For example, if I use a different one, you'll notice that the transition takes on a different appearance. And this is it for this episode, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.